Given that this COP is in Glasgow, in Scotland, the Church of Scotland, in particular, Glasgow churches together, have felt it's important that we actually make sure there's a welcome for people who are travelling far from far parts of the world uh, to come here in Glasgow, that there is proper hospitality and a good Scottish welcome. But the church also wants to focus on many of the issues that arise out of this COP, that there should be global justice, conscious that many of the people who are suffering most have done little or nothing to contribute to these human causes of climate change. And that when you look at things like an adaptation fund, uh, loss and damage recompense, recompense, these must be on the agenda and we will be urging the leaders to actually give proper attention and actually not just to listen to the claims of the so-called Global South, but also to respond positively to them. And we also just want to make the point too that we worship creation, we worship the creation and the creator who saw that it was good. And perhaps like the story of the prodigal son, you know, the wayward son who uh, spoiled his inheritance, we want to come back and be contrite and want to see that we can actually have a relationship with our creator, God, in a way that we are respectful of creation, that we are conscious of the interdependence, and that that is something which will carry on well beyond COP26.